All right, let's jump right into it. When it comes to lunges in the game, there are two types of lunges that you need to keep in mind. The first one is the minor lunge, and the second lunge is the major lunge, and we'll go through them. The first one here is the minor lunge, and this is what it looks like. That's to the left, that's to the right, that's forward, and that's back. And to do that, you simply flick your left stick. You flick your left stick in either direction and you perform the minor lunge. It's important to keep in mind that this minor lunge is actually contextual. How much distance you cover depends on where you started from because the minor lunge covers exactly one strike range. So if you're from elbow range and you minor lunge backwards, so you flick it backwards, it takes you directly from elbow range to punch range. So you do that, that's punch range. If you do it from punch range and you minor step back, you'll notice it's a bigger step. See that? That's because it's taking you from punch range to kick range. So elbow, minor, boom, it takes you to punch range. That's punch range. From punch range, you do it one more time, it takes you to kick range. You do it one more time, you notice a bigger step. This is step kick range. So that's how that works. Keep that in mind with the minor lunges. The major lunge takes you to ranges so if you're from elbow range right first of all let me show you guys what the major lunge looks like and it's a major lunge because it's longer that's to the left that's to the right and that's tj's uh contextual one so that's the left that's the right that's to the that's to the front and that's backwards and to do that you hold l1 and you could either flick the left stick or you could flick your right stick while you're holding L1. Now, if you're in elbow range, which is right there, and you perform a major lunge, it takes you directly from elbow range to kick range. Right there. You can land a kick. You perform it again, it takes you all the way out. So it's exactly two strike ranges. So keep that in mind. Now, onto the main reason why you actually clicked on this video. You want to learn how to perform the new pivots that were added to the game, and you also wanna learn how to time the lunges. Now, it's important to understand that a pivot is a contextual lunge that plays when you combine head movement plus a major lunge. So your head movement, of course, is performed with the right stick. You flick the right stick in either direction, you move your head. So let's say you perform, you wanna you know, do a pivot to your left. What you do is, you sway to the left, like that, you slip to the left, and then right after you're done slipping to the left, which of course is done with your right stick, you immediately hold L1, and then you can flick the right stick again, or you can flick your left stick to perform a major lunge. So it looks like this, right there. That's what's going to play the pivot when you actually evade a strike. So let's do that one more time. That's to the left. So again, and you can also do this to, to that side, or backwards, which is uh, kind of hard to, to hit right there. So it's sway plus a major lunge, and you're going to hit the pivot. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cue up an overhand punch, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you actually hit that pivot. And it's also important to remember that if you're going to do the pivot, try to do it to the outside of the strike. So if Cody Garbrandt right now were to throw a lunging overhand, he's throwing the overhand with his right hand. If you lunge to your right, you're lunging into the power shot. But if you lunge to your left, you lunge to the outside of the overhand. Make sense? All right, so let's go ahead and play that right there. All right. Now, when we play it back, I'm going to perform the pivot, and you're going to see how TJ, what, T, what you're gonna see is TJ is going to slip and immediately lunge to his left, and it's going to play a contextual pivot that's going to rotate him and uh, send Cody Garbin flying. So let's do that. See that? Let's do it again. Boom, and that's what it looks like. Once you see the shot coming, slip to the outside of the shot. Once you slip, flick while holding L1. Slip, hold L1 to perform the lunge. And it's going to play a contextual animation that's going to pivot you away. 
Now, you don't need to do this. You don't need to, you know, it, it might be convoluted, you know, especially when you're doing this in the heat of the moment. Um, I personally don't really use the pivot, I just lunge. So if I see an overhand coming, I simply do a major lunge, and that actually gets you out the way. So it looks like this. Hold on. Boom, see that? That is, he's all the way out there. Hold on. See that? You can simply lunge, and it gets you out the way. And if you lunge to, to your right, you lunge into it. See that? You lunge into it so you want to go that way and that's what it looks like you don't need to perform the flick you know you don't need to move your head before you then lunge you can simply the second you see the overhand coming you lunge the outside of it and that gets you out the way now you can do the same thing when it comes to straight shots so let's say that we have Cody Garbrandt throw a jab straight um, you could simply lunge to the outside of the straight if you time it right, if you time it correctly. And uh, what, that ha what that does is it actually pivots you away and Cody is going to stop tracking. And that gives you the ability to create space. So let's say we set up a jab straight right here with Cody. Right there. Don't jab straight. See that? Let's do it again. Boom. One more time. And it's always to the outside, to the outside of the straight. So if the straight is coming from Cody's right hand, you pivot, and you, you lunge that way. Now, if you want the tracking to work properly, what I personally do is I try to block the first strike. Basically, think of it as the fighter that's throwing the strike has committed to that strike. He has fully committed to it. So if you throw a jab straight, full speed, full power, maximum range, you are fully committed to that combination and even if the opponent lunges away on the second strike you're not going to automatically track them you're going to keep going in the direction that you were heading that's what physics dictates so if Cody were to cue a jab straight what I like to do personally is I don't try to lunge away at the jab that's really difficult to do what I try to do is I block the first strike and if I'm sure the second strike is going to be a straight shot like a, like a straight punch I block the jab and then I lunge to the outside of the straight and you send you send the opponent flying. So those are a few things to keep in mind when it comes to the lunges. Um, if you want to do the pivot, again, if you want to do the pivot, just remember that you have to combine head movement plus the lunge. It's head movement plus the lunge. If you, you can also simply lunge. You don't need to do the pivot. The pivot, I believe, gives you a better angle, a better, a better counter opportunity. Um, but yeah, go on, you know, get on practice mode, practice it, and uh, see if you get used to it. It will take some getting used to, but because the head movement and the way head movement interacts with lunges, because it has all been, you know, made a lot more responsive. I mean, look at this. It's all m way more responsive than it used to be before. Because it's all more responsive right now, you can, you can combine a lot of different, you know, slips and lunges and lunges into slips. And also, one more thing, you could even, see that? Do a strike, lunge, boom, boom. And step back one two take a step back one two see that it's like you can combine throw a jab and you lunge throw a jab hook and you lunge it's all it's all more responsive right now so when you're done throwing a shot you don't need to stay right in front of your opponent you can literally throw and lunge backwards you can throw cut an angle like let's say you're facing an opponent that wants to counter right away after you're done throwing. Let's say you throw a jab straight and they want to hit you with a straight right away. You can throw your jab straight and boom. Step to the outside of that straight, cut an angle and rip them with something. Jab straight, cut an angle, hit them with the body shot. You could do that. So um, test it out in practice mode, work on it and uh, let me know what you guys think. But that is it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.